Hey you guys, Jesse here from Urban Legends Antiques and we are having a booth talk, booth talk, booth talk. So let's get started. So this booth talk is gonna be about Mantiques. Mantiques, M-A-N-T-I-Q-U-E-S. If you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok now, you'd know that I talk about Mantiques a lot. What is a Mantique and how do you go about sourcing Mantiques? How do you figure out what it is? So I've just pulled from my stash some of my Mantique set I keep. Some of it I did not put out because I was trying to hold for this video, which is why I still have it. And then some of it is um, from our own personal collection. I started doing this video because I've been getting a lot of questions on what is a Mantique? Where do I find them? Why do I care about it kind of a thing? And the truth is when there are booths that have stuff that are tailored towards men, they will go in there and spend time in there and you can see that they're excited. And I want them to have just as good of a shopping experience in my booth as the women do. I started bringing in, you know, the Mantiques or the more masculine items and they sell, they always sell. The way that I get the guys to come into my booth is I have a chair or a stool or something at the edge of my booth. I always find guys sitting on it. It's just a way to attract men in. And so if, if a guy sees someone sitting, they'll come up and talk to him inevitably. And then they'll you'll find them shopping in your booth. I'll show you Chuck's stool right here. This is his guitar picking stool. Just this. This is it. This is what he likes to sit on. Stools work. Kitchen stool, something, just something that they can like sit and rest on for a minute while the ladies are shopping. It works, it pulls them in. How do you figure out what guys like? What are they interested in? I have four brothers. I, I asked them all, what do they like? What would they buy? And then Chuck. So I took some notes so I wouldn't forget. Some of the general things that you can, can be considered mantiques are sports items, sports memorabilia. Sports theme. This is an antique golf set. Antique golf. I don't know how antique it is, but it's an older vintage golf bag. These don't match, but Chuck loved these, so he bought it because it had these old uh, golf. Ugh. This is what goes over your driver. So it's a one, it's on the one. That would be a cool thing if you could source these for your shop, and it's a small that you can sell as an antique. We only have two camping, outdoorsy stuff. These are from the 90s. I'm looking for the ones from the 80s. But I found these in the state sale. I have this one and this one. Things to grill with, cars, old cars, classic cars, motorcycles, new cars, RVs, campers, remote control cars, anything with the engine, trains. I have this right now. All of my classic cars have sold. This is actually Chuck's. It's a miniature train. And I think it, I don't know where the smokestack went, but put water in here and it will billow out steam. So I sell a lot of trains, jet skis, boats, anything with an engine, Mantique, definitely. Electronics, old electronics, things that they can fix and tinker with. If your guy is a tinkerer, old boxes or some saying to haul a huge safe into your shop. That's a lot of work but my dad liked the antique lock boxes. I don't have any, I can't find them, I've been looking for them. I'll find a picture of one and I'll post it here, what I mean by that. And they're smaller. I don't even know if they were ever locked, honestly, but he would put all of his special things in his lock boxes. I also have, so this is a little box that I like. It's sweet, it's obviously a ladies. It's copper, it's got little semi-precious stones all around it. I think this is really pretty. Chuck saw it, he's like, oh, nice. But then this is one that we found when we were in Hawaii. It's the same thing, it's just a box, a little trinket box. But the difference is, is that this one has these screws on it. And Chuck was, this is why Chuck loved it, because of these little screws. He said, oh, it's older. I really like it. Obviously it's wood again. It's got metal on it, but it's not shiny like the one that I like. Something needs like a hinge or something and you don't want to put it in your booth because it won't sell or it's like missing something, put it in especially it's, it's, it'll be a good item for the tinkerer. Man caves, man caves is another one. Things for a man cave that are small that you can put into your booth. This is 
it's got my hair in it. This is a brush that we use to brush our pool table with. So all the accessories for a pool table would be something you could sell in your booth. Chalk for a pool cue. This would be a good thing. It's a small that you could easily sell in your booth. You know, barware, games, stuff like that. That's a good one as well. Barware, items, more things for the man cave. Steins, this isn't an old stein. This is just one that we have in the house, but it's big, it's heavy, it's chunky. This is one, like guys like the weight of it, you know, and I don't know if this is true for the men in your life, but the men in my life think they're all gonna be sitting around rawr, 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 and they're all gonna be drinking and toasting each other with these huge steins so we have them. It's never happened. They don't do it, but they like the idea of doing it. So we have these. Chuck likes um, sports, sports memorabilia. Old gloves, old footballs, old hand pennant, or the, you know, the finger signs, pennants, classic cars. Classic cars can be the actual auto parts if you wanna source that stuff. Classic cars can be photos, books about classic cars, books about cruising lifestyle, books about radios. You can have old radios. You can have the fuzzy dice that people can hang in their cars. The little dancing hula girls, you know, ooh, that kind of bobble when you drive. That's another good man tea. Photography, cameras, old cameras, old video equipment, old lighting equipment. Out here in California, studio lighting, old studio lighting, old building schematics, old architectural stuff to measure with. We have some architectural drawings that Chuck likes. So here's some of the, I don't know what this is, some kind of a roller measure thing. This is a ruler, has but it's a triangle. This kind of stuff, loves it. So my brother Frank likes camping stuff, anything with a motor, anything he can fix or tinker with, he loves. All this is, is an old knob. That's all. But it's a small thing that they can buy if they like. I sell these. It's funny how often I sell these. Guys love these things. They may not use it or fix it, but it's just a small that you can have in your booth. These are old tools that I have. I actually have the whole set of these, but these are cool. I have this, this one. Th these are just what I was able to find quickly, but I do have this whole set. They're in the garage right now in Chuck's toolbox. And that's how I know if I have a good antique or not is if uh, Chuck takes it basically. But these are a good antique and these are small and you could sell them easily. Whiskey like whiskey decanters. He's always talking about his infinity bottle and he wants to find an infinity bottle. So I have an infinity bottle that I have bought for him because I thought it was funny. His nickname is Wibble because he wibbles and wobbles, but he doesn't fall. So I had got this for him. I thought it was so cool and funny and it's just my brother. It's got a car on it, but I broke it. Well, probably gonna just keep it to stage with, but this is a really cool infinity bottle. And I have another one here. I just got this on my trip to New York. He was not interested in this one, probably because it's milk glass. That's okay, someone will like it. But that's another option for the infinity bottle. He likes to go hunting, go along with the hunting stuff. He likes outdoorsy things, um, the grills the portable grills that we can take places, the little camp chairs, the coffee pot enamel, and the cast iron cookware that you take with you when you go camping. He loves all of that stuff. He especially loves if he can find a rusty, dusty, beat up cast iron griddle. He's been looking for one so that he can restore it because he's a tinkerer, he likes it. So if you get something like that and you find it, don't clean it, just leave it and just tell yourself it's for our tinkerer. This is one of our cast iron skillets. This was Chuck's uncle's. We refurbished it and I've been slowly working on clearing out all of this cooked on stuff from over the years. But this is definitely another Mantique upside down. My brother Robert, he likes woodworking stuff, things to repair, 
and refurbish wood. He was really into that kind of a thing. I have these. These are not real wood. It's resin made to look like wood. But I use these to attract men into my booth. If they wanna buy it, fine, cool, but it's more of a display thing. It's meant to attract them in. Versus using Chuck's real wood, I won't do that. But these, these work really, really well. Cause guys see this and they're like, oh cool, look at that wood. It's about attracting them into your booth and shopping and looking around. So these are an eye catcher and they work. There's a lot of wood. This is a cutting board we use it to serve with. I'll show you my cutting board. So this is what I like to cut with and it's thinner. And then Chuck likes thicker cutting boards. Most of the guys that um, are in my family, they like the bigger pieces to cut with. I guess it's more manly, more masculine, like this, this heavy one. Cement molds. These are from India. I had brick molds that sold. This is another old cement mold. So they pour the cement in, but now it's ready for um, to be hung on your wall. So my brother Robert was the one that passed and he liked video games. He would keep old Playstations, old PSPs. He had a Sega CD, if any of you know what a Sega CD is. Um, old Ataris, old, the little handhold, handheld, the Game Boys and stuff. He really liked all of that old video games. He collected all of that stuff, anything from the 80s. He would still play at the old uh, Nintendo with the, the Duck Hunter game. He was really into music, especially rock and roll, heavy metal. He loved all of that stuff, all of the shirts, memorabilia that went with all of the old stuff, memorabilia from concerts. This is Chuck's. This is what he got when he saw um, Steve Martin. He loves the um, Seat Candy Rangers. But this is some memorabilia. It's not heavy. And this would be something that you could easily sell in your booth. Comment below with ideas that you have to market towards men specifically. Like what kind of antiques would you sell or what kind of antiques do you sell in your booth? I wanna know. <laughs> My brother Edward, he loves animals. He's the animal lover out of all of us. And he was always bringing home an animal to take care of. And then all of the stuff to take care of them. Bird feeders, little chicken feeders, anything like that. That was definitely my brother, like the horse troughs. That's a big item, but saddles, uh, bridles, the, the grooming equipment. Edward also is into how-to books, old encyclopedia. Encyclopedia of dogs. I don't know what it is with the, the how-to books, but guys love these kinds of books. I, I would catch him when I was a kid. He would read old encyclopedias, old dictionaries, old uh, books on how to repair cars. So I have a lot of how-to books right now in my shop. Actually, I have some old books just on like custom cars and classic cars. That is definitely the influence from my brother. My brother, Willie, he likes art. He's an artist. So anything that had to do with painting and art supplies and art equipment, you wouldn't think that that's necessarily a mantique, but if you could find old art easels or old drafting boards, paint, brushes, all of that stuff was my brother Willie. He likes gardening actually. He loves to garden. He was a, a cook. So anything that had to do with cooking, he loves that stuff. And it's not like little dainty things like big pots and uh, big knives and stuff to grow with, but not like little ones. Grilling. This is what I like to grow with. It's a little, actually it's a fish spatula, but this bad boy, this is definitely a mantique. Like big spatulas versus like, I have a little spatula that I like to grow with. Willie and Chuck, they like big spatulas. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. Bing! So that way you know when I have another video coming out. All right, so that's all for me. I hope I answered some of your questions on what a mantique is, where you can find them, how do you figure out what they are, and you can do smalls and larges, different items, things to attract a man into your booth. I'm Jessie from Urban Legends Antiques, and thanks for coming along for the ride. Bye. I'm Jessie from Urban Legends Antiques, and thanks for coming along with the ride. Blech.